Hey everybody, back again, you gotta do the large grow tent. Let me grab your camera and take you over there. This may be the last time that you're gonna see this tent with the way it looks now, because I believe next weekend I'm going to take these peppers, the ones that have, you know, shown a lot of new growth, like this tray here. Well, of course, this tray will still be here, as well as this tray, because I'm gonna slide, you know, leave them there. But then the tray's going this way, I'm gonna probably eliminate that tray, that tray, and take some of the peppers that I want to save out of there. I'll up pot those into uh, maybe some 10, or not 10 gallon, geez, some, some one gallon pots just for now. So that way I can just keep them around until spring and stick them outside. And then uh, that tray, I'm going to leave and leave it in the same spot it's in. But I think I might, you know, get rid of, you know, you know that tray there. because it's, it's, it's not doing real well. So I'm going to get rid of that, up pot those, and then... Uh, I think I'll get rid of that tray over there, get rid of that tomato plant, because it's not uh, producing any of the red ones, but like uh, this one here, I've gotten a couple of tomatoes off of. Uh, this is what they look like. I went ahead and picked one that's not fully ripe, but just to give you an example, because it was buried down underneath, but you can see there's some more that are ripening in there. And then uh, that one there, it hasn't really started to show much ripening, so I don't know if I'm going to keep that tray or not. But uh, this one here, I got two tomatoes off of this week. And then this one here, I got four tomatoes off of, and there's a lot of new, you know, fruit set coming on up and through here. It did look like it was starting to get a little, uh, you know, lack of uh, magnesium calcium, so I went ahead and gave it some feeding of that. You know, because when you want to feed one, you want to feed the other, so that way you don't know what nutrient it might be lacking if it's one or the other, and they kind of go hand in hand, so I use some cal mag that I've got. And... Uh, put that down around the base there and it seems to be doing better because you can see the leaf leaf up here growth is all nice green and so you know I figure that should take care of that issue but uh, you know there's a bunch of tomatoes still down here that haven't ripened but we picked a bunch that were down here on the bottom and uh, use that for our dinner salad you can see the pepper here there's one ripe one here that one there is almost ready to go so we'll have that probably this next week in one of our salads but uh, there's some you know new growth peppers here the ones over here are getting pretty good size. You can see that. Talked about that in the last video. And uh, you can see there's some more flowers starting to come out over here. So we're going to have some more fruit set on that. So everything's looking pretty good. Uh, let's see what else can I talk about. I did get the seeds for this week. So I've got a bunch of seeds that uh, I'll be planting into the uh, garden this year. A couple of different peppers. Some of the peppers that I saved, like uh, that pepper there, is going to be one of the ones we're going to grow as well as some different tomatoes that we're going to try. And one of the ones that we had a few years ago, which was the uh, the brown, it's the black cherry? I think it's the black cherry. But uh, that was one that we got a few years ago, and it does really good, and it grows really good here in our yard, and the flavor is really nice. So uh, I think that's about it for this week. Not much to talk about in the tent this week, because it's kind of, you know, same old, same old. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you again. Bye.